thank God, amen, giving us another opportunity, amen, to be in his house. Amen. I tell you what, amen. Amen. I just thank God, amen, did he give me an opportunity to dwell in his house. Amen. When you dwell, amen, in God's house, what you supposed to do? You supposed to take advantage of it. Amen. I tell you what, amen. He said, make a joyful noise. Amen. He said, don't never forget, amen, assembly yourself together with your brothers and sisters in Christ in unity and love. Amen. I'm going to tell you something about the house of God. Amen. There's unity. Amen. There's love. Amen. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, amen, while we're standing here. Amen. He wants us all, amen, to stand shoulder to shoulder. Amen. And grab hold of the plow. Amen. Amen. It's time that's break up. Amen. I'll tell you what we've been on just brushing. Amen. Across the ground. Amen. It's time that's drop the plow. Amen. And that's dig a little deeper. Amen. Amen. We're living in the last days and we got to push and shove. Amen. We're living in a push and shoving time. Amen. Pushing and shoving. Amen. What you mean pushing and shoving? Amen. I'm trying to push and shove. Amen. The word of God. Amen. Down everybody's throat. Amen. That's the way, amen, we get fed. Amen. Amen. That's the way I want it done for me. Amen. I want it dug around me. Amen. I want it pushed and shoved. Amen. We living in a day and hour. It's time to push and shove. Amen. I've been dealing with a situ situation for two days. Amen. I've been fishing, Brother Rana. Amen. I've been fishing. Amen. For two days. Amen. And I'm and it's supposed to go back tomorrow. Amen. Fishing for lost souls. Amen. I've been getting up a little out of five. I've been getting up at five o'clock. Amen. For the last few days. Amen. And been working with some lost souls. Amen. Been fishing. Amen. For them. Amen. Amen. But I was opening up. Amen. Tonight. This evening. Amen. And I thank God for this wonderful opportunity. Amen. That the Lord has given us. Amen. I tell you what. Amen. This is our life. Amen. We ain't here to be seen by no means. Hey, man, I tell you what, amen. We cannot get nothing done, amen, to be seen. We cannot get nothing done. Hey, man, I tell you what, look look beyond, amen, us. Hey, man, seven gold have I none but Jesus. Hey, man, I want to bring out a situation. I want to try to bring out a point here. Hey, man, I got a few minutes. Hey, man, I'm going to turn Brother V over. Hey, man, but, um... Amen. We're living in a day and hour. Amen. We got to depend on God. We got to trust in God. Amen. If you have a financial need, amen, when you call in, amen, you ask, let me tell you something about a financial need. Amen. And it works. Amen. I know of, of a couple, couple situations. Amen. Where where, they, where one situation, there was a brother. Amen. He was, he, he was, he was wanting a truck. Amen. I'm going to go ahead and tell you who he is, Brother Jerry Paul. Amen. Bro Jerry Paul was wanting a truck. Amen. Amen. He got saved. Amen. And he didn't have no way to travel. Amen. He began to go to prayer. And let me tell you something about a financial need. Amen. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation with God. Amen. And that's the way you deal with that situation when it comes to a financial need. Amen. In your home. Amen. Amen. A financial need in your home. And a, and a need, amen, out there on the streets working for the glory of God. Amen. It's two different situations. Amen. When you got a situation in your home, amen, find out you and you need help with it. Amen. Let me tell you what you do. Amen. You clean your prayer closet out. Amen. You get your closet cleaned out. Amen. You get down in that prayer closet. Amen. And you agonize with God. Amen. If you got something in your home, amen, you need something in your home. Amen. It doesn't matter what it is. Amen. Let me tell you something. God will meet the need. Amen. Amen. That brother was praying, praying for a truck. Amen. And guess what? Amen. Let me tell you something. Amen. He just didn't go in there to say a simple prayer. 
Amen. He, he, he kept on with it. Amen. Months went by. Kept praying. Amen. Kept going to God. Hours and hours at a time. Amen. Kept going to God. Amen. About three months passed by. Amen. Guess what? Amen. God laid it on somebody's heart. Amen. Amen. And they went and got that brother a truck. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. Amen. There's needs. Amen. Amen. That people's got. Amen that I'm God. Amen. Guess what I had to do? Amen. I got needs on the streets. Amen. Amen. Buying Bibles. Amen. Feeding the people. Amen. I had to go to God with these needs. Amen. Amen. I tell you what. Amen. Because we have not is because we never asked him. Amen. I tell you what. Amen. Some of these needs and situations. Amen. We're going to have to go to God. Amen. We're going to have to go to God. Amen. Because I'm going to tell you something. You see these three Hebrew boys? Amen. They're standing here. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. Amen. There's a lot of needs. Amen. It's been called in over here. Amen. We ain't, we ain't equipped to meet them needs. Amen. But I know a man it is. Amen. And his name's Jesus. Amen. I appreciate Brother V. Amen. I appreciate Brother Rana. Amen. I appreciate everything that God's doing for us. Hey Amen. I'm going to tell you something. Amen. Hey Amen. Just this past week. Hey Amen. We've been in revival. Hey Amen. Right over there at Clatham Pines. What's the name of the church, brother? Hey Amen. Right there at Clatham Pines. What's the pastor's name? Hey Amen. But we've been there in revival. Hey Amen. Just Sunday night had five to get saved. Amen. Have five to get saved. Amen. I tell you what, God, amen. Don't have no respect to person, amen. Amen. I tell you what, amen. He's just pouring it out. Amen. And I appreciate the Lord, amen. Amen. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Brother V, amen. Amen, Brother Chris. I thank the Lord for being here tonight. Thank you for what he's doing in my life. Thank you for keeping me when I was in sin. Philippians 4 and 19, he said we love him because he first loved us. I love him tonight. With all my heart, soul, mind, and strength, I give everything to Jesus tonight. For reaching down in that horrible place I was in two years ago and bringing me up. It's my favorite scripture, Psalms 40 and 2. I quote it once every day, amen, because I know where the Lord brought me from. Now I got a couple of prayer requests tonight, amen. Good friend of mine up in Lawrenburg Hospital, amen, she's sick. God knows she needs a touch in her body tonight. We asking God to come by in a mighty way tonight. I got a special loved one tonight real close to me in a hospital up in Moore County tonight. God knows the need tonight. I'm asking God to come by and touch her and touch my friend down the avenues of their soul one more time and help them, amen, on this journey. And I want to go in prayer for just a few moments, and I want every saint of God to hit the sound of my voice, if you will, to let's have a moment of prayer for these two special prayer requests tonight, amen. Hallelujah. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight, Lord. We ask that you go with us and help us tonight. Strengthen us tonight, amen. We ask that you reach down at these hospitals tonight. Scotland Memorial tonight, amen. Moore County, amen. Not only their needs, amen, but the needs of all that's in the hospital there tonight, amen. We ask that you touch these facilities, amen. The one that works there and gives the, the care to these people, amen. We have to they will just show a godly way, amen. A godly form, amen. You said that you were wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon them, and with your stripes we are healed tonight. I'm claiming a healing in the name of Jesus tonight. I'm asking to broadcast my faith tonight, amen. Not the faith of a grain of a mustard seed, the be in Stephen, full of faith tonight, amen. Full of faith and full of the Holy Ghost, amen. I'm asking God to come by right now. One more time to touch him tonight in Jesus' name we give you the praise hallelujah 
Won't y'all let's give him some praise up in this house? I praise him tonight, amen. I praise him for sanctification. I'm praising him for the Holy Ghost. He ain't feel me yet, amen. But I'm telling you, it ain't many days hence. He's going to feel me and baptize me with the Holy Ghost, amen. He said in Acts 2 and 39, he said the promise is to you and to your children and all that are far off, even as the many as the Lord thy God shall call, amen. 2 Corinthians 1 and 20, he said all the promises of God or yea and amen. I'm telling you what, God is going to do it on his time, amen. I'm telling you, my thoughts are not his thoughts. My ways are not his ways, amen. For as high as the heavens are than the earth, amen. His thoughts are higher than my thoughts. His ways are higher than my ways. I appreciate him tonight. I appreciate him for saving this old boy. I'm telling you what, I ain't the same boy that used to run around. Every time you seen him, somebody asked him, do you want a beer? Because I didn't have one. Because that's the only way they ever saw me with a can of beer in my hand. I mean, uh, yeah, a, can, a beer a can in my hand, amen. I'm telling you what, but Jesus, look what I got in my hand tonight. The word of God. I'm standing on the word of God tonight. The promises of God, amen. That's what I'm standing on tonight. The promises of God, amen. I'm telling you, he said he'd do it, and he's going to feel me. He's going to baptize me in the Holy Ghost. Not many days hence. Amen. I thank him. I praise him tonight. I got three scriptures tonight that I want to read. Just three scriptures, amen. Coming out of the book of Exodus, 32nd chapter, verse 7, 8, and 9. Amen. I love the Lord tonight. I love the Lord tonight. He did the work in this old boy's life. You know, I'm in the house of God tonight. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. I'm not in the bootlegger house. No, I'm not in the dope house. No. I'm not in the gambling house. Right. Psalms 122 and 1 said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Amen. I'm telling you, I'm glad when I have to come and say something in the name of Jesus. When I have to go to a revival, I'm glad, amen, what the Lord is doing. Amen. I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. I'm telling you, I'm looking up to the hills for whence cometh my help. For my help coming from the Lord. Amen. I'm telling you which means heaven and earth tonight. Amen. I'm telling you, he'll save you tonight. I'm telling you, if you're lost and then done tonight, have fix it tonight, amen. I'm telling you, he'll come by. He'll fix it tonight. Oh, I had a wonderful talk with my daughter today. My daughter, Brooke, that's lost, amen. I'm telling you, the power of God come on me while I was speaking to her, and God is going to save her. He's going to bring her out of that mess that she's in. I'm telling you, he's going to fix my family. He's going to save my lost cousins that's watching and listening to me right now. God is going to use me in a mighty way. I'm going to stand in the gap, amen, that God will save their souls. Save them. Hallelujah. My, my, my. Oh, I'll tell you what. The world didn't give me this, and the world ain't going to take it away, amen. I'm telling you what, what I feel running up and down the avenues of my soul, ain't no natural light, could never give me this, amen. Couldn't no woman give me this, amen. Couldn't no dope give me this. Couldn't win in no big pot, give me this, amen. This is of the Lord, amen. This is of the Lord. My, my, my. Hallelujah. Scripture said, and the Lord said to Moses, Go, get thee down. For thy people which thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them. They have made them a molten calf and had worshipped it and have sacrificed thereto and said, These be thy gods. O Israel, which have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. My, my, my. And the Lord said to Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. My, my, my. My, my, my. I want to ask you tonight, are you ready to be judged? Are you ready to be judged? I look back and on this scripture here when it says, have corrupted themselves. 
I looked at our world, have corrupted themselves in serving idol gods. These United States come to my mind, amen. How the things is going on in this world, how America is failing to this trap where good is bad and bad is good, amen. And how the devil is just using all his tricks, amen, to just deceive the people, amen. But I'm telling you, God is going to get thee down, amen. He's going to get thee down. I thank the Lord tonight for saving me, amen. And I'm hoping something will be said tonight to a lost soul out there that's wandering out tonight and seeing you in darkness, amen. You need to see the light, amen. Jesus said in the book of John 8 and 12, he said, I am the light of the world, and he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life, amen. I'm telling you, we need that light today, amen. This world that we're living in is in darkness tonight, brother Chris. I'm telling you, it's turned to out of God. It's turned to, to the love of money, 1 Timothy 6 and 10. He said the love of money is the root of all evil. Amen. I'm telling you, people these days is loving the money and using people instead of loving people and using the money. Amen. It's all about a quick fix. Amen. It's all about a quick fix these days and times. But I'm telling you, God is going to get thee down. He's going to fix it. I want to go back to when Joseph, amen. Joseph was brought in into the land of Egypt. Amen. He was brought in through slavery, amen, sold by his brothers. You know, he came on into slavery, amen, and, and God, he touched his life, amen, and he was put in Potiphar's house, amen, and everybody found love with Joseph. You know, God just had his arm on Joseph, amen, and I'm telling you, a lie from the devil Got him in the dungeon. Got him in the prison. Amen. But I'm telling you what. God was with him when he was in the prison. Amen. I'm telling you. Some of you might be in a prison tonight. You might be in a jail tonight. At the sound of my voice. But I'm going to tell you tonight. God is right there with you. He said in the book of Hebrews 13 and 5. Deuteronomy 31 and 8. He said I'll never leave you. He said I'll never forsake you. I'll go with you always. Even until the end of this world. Amen. But I'm telling you it was a lie that got Joseph there. Amen. Amen. But Jesus was in the prison. Amen. I thought of, of Jonah. Amen. When he went down in the belly of the great fish. Amen. God was still there in the belly of that fish. When last, when I, uh, uh Zacchaeus went up in the tree, the sycamore tree, amen. God was still there, amen. I'm telling you, when Elijah went in that tomb, amen, when he was running from Jezebel, amen, I'm telling you, after he slew the prophets, amen, with the power of God and the anointing of God, and then he run from Jezebel, God was there in that tomb, amen. He was there in that cave, amen. I'm telling you, God is everywhere present and nowhere absent. Are you ready to be judged tonight? Are you ready for your maker to judge you tonight? I'm telling you what, this world, everything in this world, we got children, our children watching all kind of things. Church folk looking at all kind of things, amen. They're looking at things that got no business looking at, amen. And how you going to grow in Christ if you're looking at something and there's cussing on it or there's sexual stuff on it, amen. I'm telling you, God brought me away from that stuff, amen. I'm telling you, I'm a new creature. Second Corinthians 5 and 17, he said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature tonight. All things are passed away. Behold, all things become new, amen. We got to separate ourselves from that stuff, amen. I'm telling you, we need Jesus back in our lives, in our schools, amen. I'm telling you, he needs to be the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end of our lives, amen. He's our everything, amen. He needs to be our role model today. We got different role models in this world today. We got different role models. We got Beyonce, a role model. Beyonce ain't a role model. Beyonce's a stripper, amen. I'm telling you, you got the Kardashians, amen. You got them as role models, our children. They ain't role models. They're fornicators, amen. First Corinthians 6 and 18 said, he that commit fornication sin against his own body, amen. I'm telling you, we got to be holy. We got to be clean, acceptable to God tonight, amen. I'm telling somebody to quit doing what you're doing and live for Jesus. Give it all up, amen. Amen. I've got to be holy. Amen. Leviticus 11, 44 and 45. Leviticus 19 and 2. Leviticus 20 and 7. Leviticus 20 and 26. 1 Peter 1 and 16. The scripture says, To be ye holy, for I am holy. I'm going to be holy. I'm clean tonight. 
I'm clean from the top of my head to the soles of my feet. Jesus did a work in my life. You know, I had to go back to old-fashioned order there. A few times I stumbled, amen. I stumbled, but I got up, amen, because he told me in the Word of God, Proverbs 24 and 16, a just man falleth seven times, but he rise up again, amen. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. I got up, amen, from that bed. I got up, I didn't lay there. The devil tried to get me to lay there, keep doing the things, but God, but God had it there in my heart. He knew what I had to do. I'm telling you, he's touched your heart. You know what you got to do. You know he's asked you to take away them cigarettes and all this stuff. You might keep still smoking them and stuff, but I'm telling you, you won't never get nowhere, amen. You will stay in water to your ankles tonight, amen. You won't get out there in the deep water and swim because I'm telling you, it's of the world, amen. We got to be clean, acceptable to God. We got to be clean and acceptable to God tonight. And I'm telling you, them children of Israel, they bickered and complained. Why did you bring us out here to die? We could have died in Egypt with the melons and all the cucumbers. My, my, my. I refuse to complain tonight because I know what my God done for me. I know what he done for me, where he brought me from, out of that horrible place. You know, and I'm not going back to that place. I'm not going back. Folks said I wouldn't make it long, amen, because of my lifestyle. But I'm telling you, 1 John 4 and 4, greater than he that's in me, than he that's in the world tonight. I'm telling you what, Jesus is the repair of the breach tonight. I'm telling you, he'll set the captive free tonight. I want to tell you tonight, are you ready to be judged tonight? Jesus is ready to come down tonight. I'm telling you, he said in the book of Isaiah 66 and 1, Acts 7 and 49, Matthew, Matthew 35 and 34, 34 and 35, he said, heaven is his throne. Earth is his footstool tonight. He's fixing to come down from the throne and get down to the footstool. He's fixing to come to earth. I believe it's going to be in my time. I believe it's going to be, I'm going to be seeing the son of the coming of man. Amen. I believe I'm going to get to see him. Amen. Because I'm telling you, this world can't keep standing what we're seeing. All the killing, the murders, the rapists, and all going on. Amen. Used to be uptown. Now it's right around our community. Used to be up the state. Amen. Now it's right around us tonight. I'm telling you, we need to get prayed up. We need to get prayed up. I'm telling you, we need to get in the book tonight, amen. The scripture told me in the book of Psalms 40 and 7, Hebrews 10 and 7, he said, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. I'm telling you, I eat this book. I eat this book. I live this book. This is my life right here. He shows me how to live. He showed me when trouble arise. He showed me how to dive and miss it. Psalm 119 and 105, he said, Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. When that devil lays a snare out there, I'm telling you, I can see on down a little bit, and I go right on around it, amen. Because you know what? I'm in the word of God, amen. I'm telling you, but that devil's trying to do all he can to win me back, amen. But I'm telling you tonight, I'm sheltered in the arms of God tonight. I'm not going nowhere. I'm going to be on the arms of Jesus tonight because I know where my help coming from. He coming from the Lord tonight, amen. I'm telling you what? I love the Lord tonight. I love the Lord tonight. I look at Moses, amen. Mighty man, powerful God. How God brought him through that Nile River when he was a baby. All them crocs, all them snakes. Didn't nothing bother him, amen. And I looked at when Moses got up to be a man, amen. And how he, he wandered through and looked at the children of Israel, amen. Hebrews 11 and 25, he said, choosing. Rather to suffer the afflictions with the people of God than enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season. You know, I feel like there was a seed in Moses all his life. He refused to be called Pharaoh's daughter. He knew that seed was there and there was something there for him to do. It wasn't going to be in Egypt. And I'm telling you, at 40 years old, God took him out and brought him back in 40 years, at 80 years old, and delivered him out of the hands of of Pharaoh. I want to tell you tonight, if you're delivered tonight, stay delivered. If you've been delivered and lost, Jeremiah 3 and 14, he said, I'm married to the backslider tonight. He'll be there with open arms, ready to come and get you. 
I'm telling you, Jesus is here tonight. He said in Matthew 18 and 20, where two or three are gathered together in my name, he said, I'll be in the midst tonight, amen. I'm telling you, I've struggled a little bit tonight. The enemy fought me all day today, amen. Brother Chris called me yesterday, said we was coming on. And I'm telling you, I said, I'm coming. When the door's open, I'm going to take it, amen. Because I'm telling you, I don't listen to the voice of that devil. That devil don't have no control over me, amen. He tried to do everything he can to distract me. But it's Jesus. And I'm telling you tonight, it's a good life. It's a good life. It's a good life. I thought it would be so hard, but it ain't. I let it go because the power of God, the way he saved me that Sunday morning, he went on and gave me some meat. He took me off the milk quick. How I felt the power of the Holy Ghost, the shaking and anointing in my life. How he shook me the first six months of my life, my salvation. For six months, every day he shook me with the Holy Ghost. And he's still shaking me tonight. I thank him for that tonight. I want to ask you if you're lost tonight. Think about your soul. Think about where you're turning, turning tonight. Hebrews 9 and 27. What profit a man if he gained the whole world and loses his soul? What would a man exchange for his soul? What would you give for your soul tonight? If you know you was leaving this world Saturday, what would you do? Would you make preparations? But you don't know when you're going to leave. You don't leave. I'm asking you tonight, think about it. He did it for me. He'll do it for you. Amen. I love the Lord tonight. I thank the Lord tonight for coming by in a mighty way, for strengthening me. For giving me the words to say, the wisdom and the knowledge that he's done in my life tonight. I thank him so much. Amen. We all need to just go on and serve the Lord. We were born to serve the Lord. Amen. We weren't born to get out here and run with the devil like things is, you know, and mess around our body. Amen. With piercing and all that stuff. Amen. I'm telling you what. It's of the devil. It's a slave tonight. It's a slave. You know, and I look at folk, and uh, when you're a slave... You're going to bow down to that, that master. And that devil's a hard taskmaster tonight. He's a hard taskmaster. And I can see it just as good. Earrings everywhere, the nose, the tongue, eyelids everywhere of the world. But God will clean you up tonight. He'll clean you up. And I thank God for this opportunity tonight. I thank him for saving my soul. Amen. I've struggled a little bit tonight. But God knows that I did what he Wanted me to say amen. I did him put it because he spoke to me this morning at 545. He came to me this morning and he let me know what he wanted me to say. And I'm going to press on towards that mark for that prize of the high calling of God. I'm forgetting the things that are behind me and I'm reaching forth to the things that are before me. I'm telling you tonight, it's a good life. It's a good life. Amen. I appreciate the Lord. Amen. Praise him for his precious word. Amen. I tell you what, amen. Amen. It, I didn't see no struggling there. Amen. I tell you what, amen. Let as much, amen, when God is in it, amen. Amen. I'm going to tell you something, amen. The anointing, amen, breaks the yoke. Amen. If you out there playing around on God, it's hard to break the yoke. Amen. But when you get down and you, you, you get down and you mean business with God and you read that precious word, amen, it does mean business with God. Amen. Here to break that bondage. Here to break that yoke. Amen. Amen. You're begin. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. Amen. It takes time. It takes time, amen. Amen. We've been out there on the streets, amen, for five years. Amen. Fighting, amen. Amen. For this lost and dying world, amen. Amen. The bounty hunters, amen. Amen. I got good news, amen. I want to tell you, amen. We're still bounty hunters. Amen. We're still fighting. We're still fighting, amen. That anointing, amen, breaks the yoke, amen. I don't go to the battlefield. Empty-handed. Amen. I don't go empty-handed. 
Hey, man, I'm going to tell you something, amen. Hey, man, I try to go, amen, prepared. Hey, man, I asked God, amen, this morning, I asked God this morning. I said, God, I don't know what I got to face through this day. Hey, man, but prepare me. Hey, man, get me ready. Hey, man, I try to every day, every morning. Hey, man, that's what breaks the yoke, hey, man. Hey, man, just this past week, hey, man. Hey, man, there was a little girl, hey, man. Seven years old, got a burden. Hey, man, for mama and daddy. Hey, man, guess what happened? Hey, man, mama, come to church. Give a heart to the Lord. Hey, man, I heard of another situation just this week. Hey, man, a 11-year-old little boy. Hey, man, got a burden, hey, man, for one of his friends. Hey, man, got another one of his friends, I think, might be 11 or 12-year-old. Hey, man, he told his daddy. Hey, man, this little boy told his daddy. Said, Daddy, I got a burden. Hey, man, I'm carrying a load. Hey, man, for one of my friends. Hey, man, I heard one of my friends saying some words that he shouldn't be saying. Hey, man, him and his daddy saying words that he shouldn't be saying. Hey, man, a little boy, hey, man, 11-year-old, carrying a burden. Hey, man, I'm going to tell you something, hey, man, if the grown people ain't going to carry a burden, hey, man. Hey, man, God's using these little kids. Hey, man, he's using the kids, hey, man, to carry a burden, hey, man, for the other kids. Hey, man, for mamas and daddies. Hey, man, for grandpas and grandmas. Hey, man, he's using these kids, hey, man, to carry a burden. Hey, man, guess what I've been seeing these kids doing? Hey, man, I got a, I got an 18-year-old son. Hey, man, you know what he done? He cleaned his prayer closet out. Hey, man, sometime I go in his room, hey, man. Hey, man, it beats quiet. Hey, man, I go in his room. I begin to look for him. All of a sudden, I hear him in his prayer closet. Hey, man, it's time for me to get out of there. Hey, man, because he's in there, hey, man. Hey, man, he's in there trying to get that anointing. Hey, man, he's trying to break that yoke. Hey, man, it's trying to break the bondage. Hey, man. Hey, man, it's peop- got people bound. Hey, man, i tell you what. This is what it's all about. Hey, man, saving gold. Have I none but Jesus. Hey, man, Jesus, hey, man, is here to set the captive free. Hey, man, I thank God. Hey, man. Hey, man, I thank God. Hey, man, for this wonderful opportunity. Hey, man, right now at this time. Hey, man, if, you got, if you've been facing situations, been facing troubles and trials, hey, man, in your home, hey, man, situations, we got a private line. Hey, man, and we got an open line here tonight. Hey, man, I'll tell you what, hey, man. Hey, man, I'll tell you what, hey, man, there's, there's situations, hey, man. Hey, man, it's going to take God. It's going to take God to fix each and every situation. Amen. Amen. And that's who we're trusting in here tonight. Amen. We're trusting in God. Amen. We got an open line here tonight. Amen. 521. Amen. 1726. Amen. Give us a call. We got a private line. Hey, man, give us a call, hey, man. Hey, man, if you got situations in your home, hey, man, and you want it to be private, hey, man, if you're facing situations on the job, hey, man, it doesn't matter where it's at, hey, man. Hey, man, God will fix those needs, hey, man. Hey, man, we got a private line, 521-3101. Hey, man, give us a call at this time, hey, man. Hey, man, this is what we're here for. Hey, man, this radio land. Hey, man, this is your radio. Hey, man, this is your line. Hey, man, this is the reason why we're here. Hey, man, we're here to bind together, to help one another. Hey, man, to break those yokes, hey, man, in homes. Hey, man, those bonds, hey, man. Hey, man, the line's open. Go ahead. Go ahead. How you doing, brother? We're doing good. How I'm about doing you, good. Brother? My name is Gerald Reynolds. I got saved this past October. And I got a brother that I'm sitting out here praying for him. He's a long son. Please pray for him. God, he's a long son. I don't know what he's in to get out. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm a man. I'm
Lord have mercy. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this night, Lord. We have that you reach down, touch this family, amen. We thank you for saving this young man, saving his soul, amen. We have that you reach down and touch his family. We have that you reel them all in, amen. We have that you just save them tonight. Oh, we just give you the glory tonight for what you're going to do and what you've done done tonight. We thank you for salvation, repair of the breach tonight. Oh, we just call out to you tonight, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first, the last, the road, the Sherman. Hey, Amen. We have that you go with him. Keep him. In your name, we pray. Hey, Amen. Keep praying on, son. Keep pressing on. He's a fix it God. He's going to save him. You keep pressing on, son. You keep pressing on and keep praying for your family. Hey, Amen. I'm telling you, God will use you. He'll use you to win them lost souls. I'm telling you, he'll use you, amen. You stand in the gap. You stand in the gap for him, amen. I'm telling you, we got to be that winner. I'm telling you what, Proverbs, hey, Pro Proverbs 11 and 30 said, The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winning souls is wise. Be that soul winner tonight, brother. We're praying for you. May God bless you. Y'all have a good night. Thank you, brother, for calling in, brother. You know, Brother Vince, I thought about praise God. When I got saved, praise God, I had a lost mother, praise God. I, Brother Chris, I was thinking about it today, praise God. She had a man stand with her at the house, and he had seven living children, a living wife, praise God. But Brother Chris, when I got saved, praise God, uh, we got an opportunity. The Lord blessed me with a vehicle because she had. we had a brother in prison down at, at our Raleigh Central Prison. Hadn't seen that boy in about 14 years, Brother Chris. And praise God, Brother Vince, we were going up there one Sunday, praise God, and you know, praise God, the Lord began to bless me going up there, Brother Vince. We pulled off side of 440 there, and praise God, I got ready to get back in the car. And, you know, Brother Chris, it had, had rained that Sunday, probably that Sunday morning. And, Brother Vince, there was some water that I ran inside, praise God, you know, in one of them little sloughs like. Right. And the Lord spoke to me, Brother Vince. He said, anoint yourself with that water. And I ran over there, Brother my, my, my. Vince, stuck my fingers down in that water, anointed myself, and went on to Raleigh. Once again, we were going another Sunday, Brother Chris, and, Got happy again, praise God, and looked over that mom. She was just, tears was just a running, Brother my, Chris. My, my. And, and praise hey, God, the Lord spoke to my heart, Brother Vince. He said, take your hand and lay in your gray head, mother head today and claim her. Brother Vince, when I reached over there and I began to lay my hands in her head, I said, Mom, I'm claiming you today. Amen. Brother Vince, you know, about about six years later, praise God, Brother Vince, we had stayed with my aunt up in Rayford, me and my wife, and at probably about 12, 31 o'clock that Sunday afternoon, I called down to the house and, my brother-in-law got on the phone and he just spoke just a few words and he, he began to say, he said, uh -uh, you want to speak to your mom? Brother Vince, and when he said that, my heart began to swell. I said, yeah, well, I want to speak to mom. And brother, I got, I got on, got, she got on the phone on the other line and she said, hey, boy, how you doing? I said, I'm doing good, mom. She said, boy, you remember how you felt when you come out of the wilderness? Amen. Boy, when she said that, Brother Vince, I, I began to cry a little bit more. She said, I said, yeah, mom. She said, boy, I got saved today, Amen. praise God. And I appreciate him for that, Brother Vince, Brother Chris. I appreciate Amen. him for his love and his mercy and his grace. Praise God. Go ahead, call her, praise God. Go ahead, call her, praise God. Hello? Go ahead, brother. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, my, uh, I was a Christian a long time ago, but I'm, I ain't a Christian now. Brother, the Lord's able right now, praise God. Brother, we just, Brother Chris says, pray God about this program. That's, uh, that's hold on why for we out I can't hear you. I can hear you now. Uh, do you, did you call in, brother? Do you want to be saved tonight, praise God? Yes, sir. Amen. Well, brother, all you got to do is believe in him, praise God. Uh, brother Vince was saying a while ago that God's married to the bike slider, brother. God loves you. Even I though what you may be done tonight, brother, we're yes, going to pray with you right now, brother Thank Vince. God. Yes, God. Lord. Brother, the scripture says praise over in Romans 10 and 13, praise he God. said, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord True, son. shall be saved. Shall, Romans 10 and 9, it said, Confess with the mouth of Jesus Christ That's and believe right. in the heart and thou shalt be saved. Shall, Amen. Shall, I'm telling you what, we're going to pray, and I want praise you to believe God. tonight by faith and receive it that God is going to save your soul. Praise God. Okay? 
Yes, sir. Amen. Praise God. Most gracious Heavenly Father. Yes. Thank you. Again, we come to you. Praise God. Yes. Young man that's called in, Lord. We're just praying that you touch him, teach him, lead him in God. Send the conviction power of God with the Holy Ghost. God, God. Praise God. That you reach down in the avenue of his soul. Amen. Save him, man. You said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Amen. That joy and power, that Holy Ghost power that saves people. Amen. That saves the wretch. Amen. I'm asking you tonight, God. Do it tonight. Save him. Be soul. Keep him tonight. Keep him sheltered in the arms of God. And we ask you, go with him, strengthen him, and help him in a mighty way. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I'm going to tell you something, brother. You made that effort to call in here. Yes, sir. And you told your situation. That's right, brother Chris. Amen. God's more than able. To save you right now, brother. Right now, brother. Chris. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. All you got to do, brother. Truth, Chris. Amen. Is just begin to thank God. Thank you, brother. Amen. Thank for you. what he's done for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to tell you something. That's Sunday morning, brother Rada. Amen. I didn't know what to do, brother. No, son. Hey, Amen. But you know what I done? I made my way to that old fashioned altar. Yes, Lord, brother. Amen. And I felt that Jacana glory. Amen, Hallelujah. because I made that Hallelujah. effort. Hallelujah. Amen, and guess what? Amen, I begin to thank God. Amen, for saving me. Right, brother Chris. Amen, and I took that, amen, after yes, 24 Lord. years ago. Amen, I took that situation. Yes, sir. Amen, that one moment. Yes, amen, Lord. and I've never been the same, never, brother. brother Chris. Never, amen. Never. I'm going to tell you something, brother. What You feel like God saved you. Amen. Yes, sir. Hey, Amen. But Thank let me God, tell you brother. what you do with that. Hey, Amen. You take that golden nugget. Hey, Amen. That God has just given you. Hey, Amen. And you fight for your life. Yes, Amen. Lord. You Lord, fight brother. for your life, brother. Hey, Amen. I'm going to tell you something. I took that little, that little twinkle. Hey, Amen. That fell in yes, my heart. Hey, yes. Amen. That Sunday morning, that little twinkle. Yes, sir. Hey, sir. Amen. And guess what? Hey, Amen. Yes. Hey, Amen. I'm still taking them still, golden still, nuggets. Hey, Amen. Still. Hey, man, you take that, brother. Hey, man, and you go on with God. Hey, man, do you go to church anywhere, brother? Yes, sir. Do you? Hey, man, well, I want you, here's what I want you to do, brother. Hey, man, you go to church. Hey, man, if y'all have church on Wednesday nights. Yes, sir, brother. Hey, man, I want you to go, brother. Hey, man, and I want you to take it. I want you to tell the church. Hey, man, that what God has God's done for done you. For you hey, man, right. you stand up, hey, man, and you tell, hey, man. Right. Hey, man, what God God's right. done for you, brother. Right. Hey, man, this Hallelujah. is what it's all about, brother. All hey, man, this radio program's for you, brother. Hey, That's right. Hey, That's man, right, it's God. for you. Hey, man, I thank you, brother. Hey, Hallelujah. man, I tell you what, hey, man. Hey, man, you're helping me to go to go an uh, extra mile. Yes, sir. Yes, hey, sir. man, an extra mile. Hallelujah. Hey, man, them angels in heaven, brother. Rejoice. Hey, man, is all rejoicing. Hey, man, Hallelujah. over that one soul. Hey, man, guess what? Hey, man, I'm rejoicing. Hey, man, what God has done. Hey, man. Hey, man, I appreciate you, brother. You too. Hey, man, I love you, brother. What's your yeah, name, you brother? Uh, Ronnie Hardwood. Lo Ronnie Hardwood. Hardwood. Amen. Where are you from, brother? Uh, Clio. Clio. Amen. Amen. All the way up in Clio. Right, son. Amen. I tell you what, brother Ronnie. Hey, man, we we love you, brother. Yes, sir. Hey, man, stay in contact with us, brother. Hey, man, maybe we can go up that way. Amen, and have a street service with you. Right, brother. Hey, man, maybe we can go in the community. Amen, and have a street yes, service up that way. Hey, man, I want to give you my phone number, brother, and I want you to call me. Hey, man, my phone number, brother, is um three seven four forty two ninety eight. Okay. Hey, man, maybe I can get a chance, hey, man, find out where you're located. Right, hey, man, and we can come see you, brother. Yes, hey, man, and fellowship with I'm you, brother. Right. Hey, man, amen. we thank you, brother. We love you, amen. You too. Hey, man, may God bless you. Amen. Amen. Lord, son. Yeah. That's worth it all, right? There. Yes, it is, brother. You no, know, I was praying today, amen. Hallelujah. I said, Praise God, God, you gave us one lost soul last Hallelujah. week. He sure did, brother. And I thank God for that one lost soul. I said, God. Yes, Lord. I'd love to have two or three tonight. Yeah. We already got one, amen. amen. I'm telling you what, we're going to fish in tonight, amen. Yes, I'm telling you, if we catch them, Jesus yeah. said he'd clean them up, amen. Sure I'm telling will. you what, have for two or three tonight. 
Yeah. I'm believing we're going to get it by faith. But I thank him if we just get that one. Yes, it's sir. worth it tonight. Worth it, it's worth it. Working all day in the heat. Going and striving to get here, amen. Praise and then when somebody give their heart to God, amen, it's, it's just worth, worth it all. Worth it all. My, God. my, my. It's worth it all. Amen. I'm telling you what, y'all need to get in this thing while it's good. Yeah. You need to get in it while it's good. My, my, my. I told my family, I said, the party's over with now. The party's over. Brad is shut down. The club down y'all, the Cobra Club is shut out. Twilight Zone is shut out, amen. But the house of God is still on fire tonight, amen. I'm telling you, you to get, on, get on fire for God tonight, amen. amen. All these clubs closing down. You need to come on in. Come on into the fold, amen. The party's over. I'm still dancing. I just got a new partner. Amen. His name is Jesus. Put on a new coat, on a new coat tonight, amen. Yeah. My, my. Amen. Hey, I'll tell Chris. you what, amen. Amen. We got a brand new party right here. Amen. Amen. This party.